Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I cover patch day for February 2018. Today was both Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. You're probably used to this normal fire drill. It's the second Tuesday of the month where both of those companies release all their security updates for the month. We'll start as usual with Microsoft. Microsoft released updates for uh, Internet Explorer, their Edge browser, their Office tools, including some Office web applications, and of course for their Windows operating system. Of course, these updates fix many, many vulnerabilities. Some of the most significant ones are ones that affect their browser. With some of their browsers, they ship with Adobe Flash, which we'll talk about a little later. And this fixed a very critical zero-day Flash vulnerability in Windows and their browsers as well. So be sure to install that critical update quickly. Besides that, there's a number of other remote execution flaws, both in Windows things, including their scripting engines, and in things like uh, Outlook as well. In both those cases, by getting you to download an open something you shouldn't, like a file attachment, bad guys can actually take control of your computer and often install malware. So the long story short, as usual, is you should go and get these Windows updates as soon as possible, assuming you use uh, the affected software, and pay attention to the severity of the security bulletins. Always fix the critical ones first. As I mentioned earlier, today is also Adobe Patch Day, and their big update today was for Acrobat and Reader. A lot of folks use that, so if you do, go get the update. Do know, a few days ago, they also released a critical update for Adobe Flash. This was an out-of-cycle update because it fixed a zero-day vulnerability. In fact, I think two vulnerabilities. By the way, that brings to mind that there haven't been videos for a while. I'm actually backlogged. I've recorded a number of videos I simply haven't had time to post post and produce. And I'm actually going to release this patch day video earlier than some of the videos I released before. So while you may not have seen the video about this flash zero day yet, do know it is coming. So long story short, Microsoft users, go get those updates as soon as possible. Uh, the Windows update, the flash update, and the ones that fix the Outlook flaws are pretty big. On top of that, if you're an Adobe user, definitely get the Adobe Reader update. And if you haven't patched uh, Adobe Flash, be sure to patch that as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.